WPUG Radio presents Maisie and Daisy. Hello and welcome everyone. This is Maisie the Crazy Pug coming to you on this podcastic evening on radio station WPUG in beautiful downtown Pugville. I am in Studio A and Daisy's in Studio B. Since it is the start of a new year, I thought we would read a book that would be very uplifting. Our friend Melissa wrote a book that she dedicated to her pug, Emmett. She gave us permission to read it to you. We hope you enjoy it as much as we do. The title is, Why Am I Special? Daisy and I will take turns reading the pages. Clink, clank, clunk. Sounds rang from the kitchen like an alarm clock. Good morning, Emmett. Breakfast is ready. With a loud snort, the snoring stopped. A groggy pug sat straight up, blinked his huge eyes, and shook his sleepy head from side to side. Grumble, rumble, gurgle. Emmett's belly answered his mother's call. As Emmett scrambled down the stairs, he exclaimed, Hooray! It is time for breakfast and the start of a new day. The dog park opens today. Emmett licked the last crumbs from his nose, gathered his toys, and hugged his mom. I am off to the dog park. I will be home before dark. Smiling, she watched her son disappear in a whirlwind of dust made by his galloping feet as they thumped up the street. Excitement and wonder filled the pug's heart. Wow! Look at all the dogs! Some of them are big, and others are small. I cannot wait to meet them all. After the dust cleared, a poodle appeared. She barked with glee. I am Petunia, the hostess, and greet all that arrived. She was graceful and groomed. With a quizzical glance, she bent down and asked, So, little pug, what is your job? What are you good at? Why are you here? Emmett gulped and quietly answered, I have no idea. The pug felt a lump in the pit of his stomach. His ears fell limp and his curly tail straightened. I have never thought to ask the question, why am I special? Emmett sat and pondered a bit when suddenly a plan popped in his head. Look at all the dogs milling around. I will find out what makes them special and my answer will be found. Suddenly, a red ball landed with a thud at his feet. Emmett looked up to see a large German shepherd. Hi, my name is Gus. Would you toss me the ball? I love to play catch. I wish I could do it all day long. It is wonderful you have found something you enjoy. What stops you from playing ball from dawn until dusk? Gus answered, I have an important job. I am a police dog. I fight crime to keep people safe. Wow, said Emmett. I would be special if I could do that. May I join the force and wear blue tights and a red cape? The shepherd first coughed, then giggled and laughed. He roared so hard he fell to his knees. Oh no, little pug. There is no room in the group for someone so soft. You could not frighten anyone. I would not want you to get hurt. Okay, said Emmett, I will try again to find out what makes me special and why I am here. Emmett headed straight for the big circle of frolicking dogs, nudged his way through to the center and sat. Excuse me, he addressed the group. Would you please tell me, what is your favorite thing to do? Emmett knew the answer was near. The secret must be in the activities my new friends hold dear. A Dalmatian, St. Bernard, and Doberman Pinscher proudly stepped up. Each answered in turn that they worked for the Firehouse, Red Cross, and as a guard dog. Oh boy, said Emmett as he examined his feet. Those jobs do not fit my small physique. I see this task is going to be more difficult than I first thought. A Border Collie, Husky, 
Boxer and Greyhound were next to chime in. We are athletic and love to run and compete. Emmett puffed out his chest and pulled in his tummy. Let me race too. I know I can win. The Great Dane towered above them all as he bellowed. Brave Pug, stand on his mark. The others will race you to the finish line. The winner will receive an important award. Emmett's heart beat fast in his chest. If I earn first place, I will be famous and adored. They lined up in a row and waited for the starting bark to sound. Run! Emmett heard the crowd cheer as the racers exploded into action with all of their might. Emmett huffed and puffed, snorted and wheezed as he triumphantly thought, I must be in the lead. I cannot see anyone close to me. A few moments later, as Emmett rounded the bend, he knew the truth of the matter. To his surprise, the pug looked far ahead to see the wagging tails of his rivals as they crossed the finish line. Emmett trotted in slowly and said, Thanks for the chance. I tried for first place, but I came in last. Two Labrador retrievers brought Emmett a big bowl of cold water. Good try, they applauded. We like your spunk. Would you like to take a dunk? Swimming is our favorite thing in the world. Playing is easy. There are no rules. We retrieve floating objects from the lake. Showing his unbreakable spirit, Emmett accepted the invitation. A pug that can swim is a very special thing indeed. My mother would be proud of me if I came home with a fish. Tails wagon, the new friends bounded to the end of the dock. At the count of three, they hooted and hollered with glee as they dove into the water with a big splash. The labs paddled with ease. With just a few strokes, they reached the center of the lake, looked for the pug, but he was nowhere in sight. A few feet away, air bubbles surfaced. Pop, pop, pop. Help! I am here! The black lab reached down and scooped up the waterlogged dog and paddled him back to shore. Emmett shook the water out of his ears and smiled sheepishly as he coughed up a trout. I guess my barrel chest is heavier than my hind legs. I am built like an anchor, not a boat. I sink pretty well, but I cannot float. Thank you for the adventure. I feel like a winner. Emmett beamed as he proudly held up his dinner. Two corgis approached and tossed Emmett a big fluffy towel. Good show, they said with a howl. Emmett grinned as he shared. I am on a mission to uncover what makes me special. Megan and Moe winked at each other and surrounded the pug. Like magic, they nudged him from behind, right and then left, guiding Emmett into the enclosed dog pen. Wow, how did I get here? A moment ago, I was on the shore drying my fur. The dance we just did is a wonderful blur. Herding is what we do best. The corgis demonstrated again by ushering two French bulldogs into the pen. It is your turn to herd Stanley and Stella to the back gate. Without hesitation, Emmett thought, I can do that. He turned to the two sturdy figures and extended an invitation. Please follow me. Emmett pranced to the target while chatting to his new friends. He twirled around with accomplishment when he arrived, only to find himself standing alone. He looked from where he had come to see Stanley and Stella in their original spot. Confused, Emma trotted all the way back. I'll give each of you a cookie if you come with me now. Stanley and Stella did not move a muscle. Standing still with eyes blinking, they both barked, Bonjour! Mo offered some helpful advice. Emmett, they are French bulldogs visiting from Paris. Stanley and Stella do not understand. You will need to herd them with your nose to get them to move where you want. Emmett realized his flattened muzzle was not fit for the task. 
He gave his friends each a biscuit and munched the rest of the treats in the bag. With a full tummy, Emmett walked to the other end of the park. He spied a beagle and basset hound sniffing a tree trunk. Good afternoon, they barked as Emmett approached. How did you know I was standing behind you? You seem so busy following a scent. We knew you were coming from a mile away. Hounds are equipped with a sensitive sense of smell. It allows us to track animals in a hunt, find unlawful items in an airport customs line, and most importantly, we are undefeated playing the game hide and seek. Impressive, Emma thought. If I could smell everything from miles away, I would seem so much smarter from all the knowledge I would gain. We are tracking our friends Rufus and Charlie, who are carefully hiding. Would you like to join the search? Oh, yes. Thank you. Emmett pointed his small nose in the air, sniffed a few times and yelled, Quick over here! The hounds bounded over to uncover their friends, but came out of the bushes with a shriveled apple core. What is this? An old piece of food? We are searching for two spaniels, not trash. We do not intend to be rude. But please hurry, time is running out. They tossed the morsel onto the ground. Emmett picked up the dried fruit and swallowed it whole. I think my nose has some wires crossed. It is a magnet for food, not animals in a hunt. Just at that moment, a Cocker Spaniel and King Charles Spaniel surfaced from behind a log. We won, they yelped with pride. We have not been able to do that in the thousands of times we have tried. The hounds looked at Emmett and asked him to leave. We never lost a match until you joined the team. With a thoughtful glance, Emmett replied, Sure, I understand. Taking a deep breath to sniff the air, the pug wagged his curly tail and looked into a patch of tall grass. He came out smiling with a banana peel. Today, I learned the wonderful game of hide-and-seek. If I keep practicing my skills, I will never be without a treat. With a final slurp, he grinned and looked up. The sun is sinking low in the sky. It is time for me to start heading back to the front gate. I promised my mom I would be home before dark. Emmett pranced along, singing a song to himself, when he was joined by two dodge hounds, Penny and Boone. Each fell into step on either side of the pug, humming along to his chipper tune. Would you like to be part of our talent show? Penny blurted out. Performers reveal their special talents to a crowd. Emmett could not believe his ears. Goosebumps covered him from head to toe. How wonderful, he exclaimed with joy. I have never heard of such a thing. It is the perfect way to finally discover what it is that makes me special. Thank you for the invitation. I accept. Emmett romped over to the registration table and signed his paw print on the dotted line. He was immediately greeted by two cheerful faces. Hello, Emmett. We are the judges that decide who will be taking home the prize. My name is Albert, the Brussels Griffon volunteered. Allow me to introduce my friend Edward. The English bulldog next to him just grinned. I suggest you introduce yourself to the other performers and see where you fit in. Great idea, Emmett said. He ran over to the group of pint-sized dogs taking turns jumping in and out of a purse. What on earth are you doing? Emmett wondered out loud. Ping the Japanese chin explained, Our special talent is to quietly sit in a bag while our owners carry us all over town. Emmett jumped in the tote and landed head first. He was a sight to be seen as his tail end was exposed. Excuse me! A muffled voice surfaced as the pug struggled and kicked to turn himself around. I seem to be stuck upside down. The Pomeranian and Chihuahua pointed and snickered. Look, he is too plump to be part of our act. The Shih Tzu felt sorry for Emmett and unzipped an emergency exit. 
out rolled the pug, drenched in sweat from his effort. Did I pass the trial? Am I special like you? Impressed by Emmett's sincerity, a Jack Russell Terrier jumped in and answered his question. My dear pug, you are not special like them. The key is that you are special like you. What do you mean? I cannot see how I am special. I have been trying all day. Oh, Emmett, we can see how you are special. It is so clear. Emmett's friends surrounded him and each spoke in turn. You have shown us all in everything that you do that you have a heart made of gold. It shines brightly and sets an example to live up to. The positive attitude you brought to each challenge taught us of optimism, courage, and laughter. We learned that in the end, no matter what happens, all is truly well. Don't you see, Emmett? Your spirit inspires, uplifts, and guides everyone that is lucky enough to know you. Oh, the joy that washed over Emmett was indescribable. The gift of who I am is so simple, yet hard to see. I now know that I will never discover why I am special by copying another being. What easily comes from my heart is my special gift to the world. Thank you, friends, for showing me so clearly what I have been searching for all day. Emmett ran home to tell his mother about his incredible adventure. She listened to him over dinner, beaming with love and pride. Emmett, I have known of your special gifts since the moment you were born. Your love and courage to be yourself have brought me so much joy. As Emmett took his last bite of trout, he felt his eyelids grow heavy. It is time to tuck you into bed, said his mother, as she guided him upstairs. She bent down and kissed his soft forehead. Sleep soundly, my dear. As she turned off the light and slowly closed his bedroom door, she blew a kiss and whispered into the room, Emmett, I love you. That is the sweetest story I have read. Me too, Daisy. I was so happy when Emmett found out what makes him special. You know, we all have something that makes us special in our own way. I am so glad that our friend Liz Langer wrote this book to help others learn that. If anyone would like to purchase a copy of Why Am I Special, you can go to her website at www.pugnotes.com. While you are there, you need to take a look at the Valentine sweater she has available for sale. She also has Valentine bunglies for sale. Bunglies are cute little stuffed toys she makes with love for fur babies. Everyone we know that has one loves them. I also saw that Accessorize Your Pug on Etsy is having a pre-sale on Pug Conversation Heart Necklaces for Valentine's Day. If you order now, $5 from every necklace sold goes to Pug Squad to help out pugs in need. Go to Etsy.com and look for Accessorize Your Pug. On the store page, look for Pre-Sale Special Edition Conversation Hearts Valentine's and order your pug a necklace. Valentine's Day is one of my favorite holidays. That's when Jake and Elwood gave us our bow ties. Humans, don't forget to treat your fur babies on Valentine's Day. Well, I think that is all the time we have for today. If you enjoy our program, please be sure to spread the pug love with everyone you meet. You don't have to be a pug to spread some love. If you have any questions you want to ask, or if there are any topics you want to hear about, or if you have an uplifting story you want to share, please message us on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. This is Daisy, best friend and sister of Maisie the Crazy Pug, signing off for WPUG Radio. We hope you have enjoyed your time with us.